Assalamu alaikum students today we will solve uh, two questions uh, do two questions uh, question number 8 and 10 of exercise 12b of your d1 book uh, question number 8 says construct a trapezium w x y z such that w x is equal to 56 millimeters or 5.6 centimeters x y is 11.2 centimeters or 112 millimeters w x y is given which is 80 degree and uh, x y z is 70 degree measure and write down the length of w y and x z so the angles are given 80 and 70 which are it should be angle x and the second one is angle y so first of all we will draw the <clears throat> line segment of x y in order to draw these two angles so x y is 11.2 millimeter uh, centimeters so using a scale this is 11.2 centimeters x y next uh, draw an angle at x 80 degree and at y 70 degree so use protractor to draw these angles at x uh, it is 80 degree And at Y, the angle is 70 degree. Also mention these angles this is uh, 80 degree and this angle is 70 degree okay next so actually we have uh, done this this and this next is w x is 56 millimeter or 5.6 centimeters so Measure the length 5.6. So use your compass to open. Open the compass with radius 5.6 centimeter so I open it now place the needle at x and draw an arc which intersect this straight line at w so it means this point is w this point is w so we have done this part as well So as it is a trapezium, so it means uh, x, y should be parallel with w, z. So to look at w, z, I'm going to make a parallelogram by this. This is 5.6. So draw the same uh, radius arc from y. this is an arc similarly measure xy length with the compass and 
and draw the arc from W which intersect the previous arc <clears throat> so if we join these two points it will give you a parallel line to the xy So this point of intersection of these two lines is actually Z as WZ and XY are parallel. So we have a trapezium. Next step is to measure and write down the length of WY. So where is WY? This one. So measure these lengths. WY and XZ. The first one is WY. And its length is eleven point eight something, yes. Eleven point eight centimeters. Next is uh, XZ. So XZ is another diagonal. So what is the length of XZ? Its length is 10.8 it means wy is equal to 11.8 centimeter and xz is 10.8 centimeter all right next question question number 10 Question number 10. Construct a uh, quadrilateral PQR as such that PQ is equal to 4 cm, QR is, and R as both are same, 4.8 cm. PS is 3.6 cm and the angle at P or QPS is equal to QPS is equal to 90 degree. Imagine write down the length of QS. So first of all we will construct this uh, quadrilateral. The angle is uh, QPS which is 90 degrees so we're going to make uh, we're going to construct this length first PS as it has S or you can also draw this RS so PS is 3.6 centimeters So this is P S and the length is 3.6 centimeters. Next step is to draw the angle Q P S. Which is 90 degree. So you can use this protractor to draw this 90 degree angle. Compass can be used as well. This is 90 degree. All right. Right here, this is 90. Next step uh, PS. PQ is 4 cm. So take measurements 1. Use compass to draw the arc with the radius 4 cm. 
from B. So I'm me measuring the compass or opening the compass with radius 4 cm exact. And then place the compass on at P and draw an arc which intersect this angle 90 degree at point Q. This point is Q. And it is actually 4 cm. Next thing is uh, P because we have located Q. This R remains. So RS is equal to 4.8 cm and QR is also 4.8 cm. So open the compass with radius 4.8 so this is exactly 4.8 SR is 4.8 place the compass needle at S and draw an arc Similarly, QR is also 4.8, so to place the place the needle at Q and draw an arc, which intersect the previous arc at R. So this point is R. Now join R with Q and then R with S. So we have a quadrilateral and these ends are 4.8, 4.8 centimeters. Part 1. Imagine write down the length of QS. So QS is actually a diagonal. This is QS. Measure its length. Its length is 5.4, I guess. Yes, 5.4 centimeters. Next, part 2. Construct the perpendicular bisector from S to QR. From S to QR. So draw the perpendicular bisector from S you have to place the compass needle place the compass needle at s and then intersect this straight line qr at uh, two different points the first one and this is the second one so we got two points this one i'm showing this with the red color this point and this point so place uh, your compass again at these two points and draw arcs one by one which gives you a point of intersection this just join this s with the point of intersection of these two arcs it will give you the perpendicular from S to QR. So this is the perpendicular. You can write here this is 90 degree. So such that I use the point where the perpendicular cuts. So this means this point is U. So, home assignment is exercise 12B, question number 8, 9, and 10. I take care, Allah Hafiz. Place the compass needle at S and then intersect this straight line QR at uh, two different points the first one and this is the second one so we got two points this one I'm showing this with the red color this point and this point 
so place uh, your compass again at these two points and draw arcs one by one which gives you a point of intersection this just join this s with the point of intersection of these two arcs it will give you the perpendicular from s to qr so this is the perpendicular you can write here this is 90 degree so such that you use the point where the perpendicular cuts so this means this point is u So, home assignment is exercise 12b, question number 8, 9, and 10. I take care. Allah Hafiz.